What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about photo editing programs. So when I started taking photography seriously, that was probably the end of 2020. I was thinking about it from like 2016 on. I had just filmed a full length horror film. The whole time I was shooting, I was like, man, I would just love to just take photos instead of doing what I'm doing. It just, it made that itch happen. But since I started taking it seriously, I had to decide what photo editing program was I gonna use? What could I afford? Now, I wasn't making any money doing anything. So to pay $10 a month for Lightroom was just out of the question. Everybody and their mother on YouTube, that's all they talk about is Lightroom, 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 buy my presets, all this. I didn't have that kind of money. So what did I do? I purchased Affinity Photo. Let me tell you about Affinity Photo. Allow me to jump in here real quick. If you guys like the content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, and uh, yeah, now let's get back to the video. Affinity Photo is kind of an all-in-one. It has aspects of Photoshop, and from what I've seen prior, it had some aspects of Lightroom. But everybody that used both Lightroom and Affinity Photo said, don't use Affinity Photo, use Lightroom. Well, again, I couldn't really afford that. I paid $50 for Affinity Photo and I owned it. It runs fast, it wasn't really buggy, and it taught me how to edit. I learned how to adjust the exposure, how much clarity to use, how much clarity to take out, how to soften, how to use you know, contrast and different colors, and then I discovered lookup tables. Because Affinity Photo, you can't use presets, but you can use LUTs or lookup tables. So I started messing around with those, creating my own LUTs. I'm not gonna sell my own LUTs because not enough people use Affinity Photo to sell them. So I created my own, saved them, used them. I had some that I used for street. I had some that I used for shooting abandoned houses in the desert, some for sports, just what I thought looked cool. And I was constantly just working with Affinity, trying to edit photos the best I could. Now. I'm gonna put some, some video up on the screen of me working with one of the photos that I took at a recent photo shoot for Arid Empire. Now, as you can see in this video, the interface looks pretty close to Photoshop. You hit develop, you go into your main editing portion of the program, which allows you to use layers and import and export things, make masks, just like you can in Photoshop. So after using Affinity Photo for a little over two years, learning how to edit photos without using presets was fun, but the time finally came. I had some money on hand, so I purchased a year of Lightroom. Now I've only had Lightroom for about five days. And uh, man, that program is super cool. So I'm gonna use that same photo that I was editing in Affinity Photo, and you're gonna see just how quick and easy I was able to edit that same photo faster, and in my opinion, better than what I did in Affinity. Just a couple clicks. Boom, 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 and it's done. Sorry about the, uh, the cover up right there. I am making some presets for that, and uh, I, I guess I'll be like everybody else and sell them eventually, I don't know. So that's why that's kind of covered up. So presets and LUTs, there's, they're kind of the same thing. The only difference that I have found personally with using LUTs and then using presets is presets, I tend to do at the beginning 
of the editing process and then adjust everything else accordingly. Whereas using the LUTs, the, the LUTs was just like a, a final color grade of how you want the, the photo to look. I would use those at the end. So I would edit the photo, do the exposure, the contrast, the color, the, the, the color curves, and then I would add the LUT and then just some minor tweaking. With presets, start with the preset, you tweak it, you're done. Now, I don't have the option of sending something from Lightroom to Photoshop because I didn't get the plan that came with Photoshop. I just got Lightroom CC or Lightroom Cloud. So I didn't get Photoshop. I do have Photoshop, but it's CS3 and it won't link up. So I can either bring those photos into CS3 later, or I can actually bring them into Affinity to do some final touch-ups, which I might try doing later, I don't know. So really, what are the differences between the two? The user interface is pretty similar. They're both fairly straightforward, fairly easy to use. Affinity is, is less helpful than Lightroom is. And what I mean by that is Lightroom has had tutorials like every step of the way. I've been using it for like five days, just editing old photos and I'm still getting tutorials on if you want to do this, do this. If you want to do this, do this. I'm like, oh, get off my screen. Whereas Affinity Photo didn't really have that. It had at the beginning and there, there is a website or a forum you can go to and you can watch some of those videos, but it's not really built into the program. Affinity is more designed, in my opinion, for those that are editing on their own without presets that want to have every single thing that they do to that photo be of their hand and not be assisted in any way by a preset or anything else. Again, that's just an opinion. The differences, I mean, I like both. I like a lot of aspects of Affinity that I don't get in Lightroom. And there's a lot of aspects of Lightroom that I don't get in Affinity that I love. So don't ask me to choose between the two because I won't. I like them both. I'll continue to use both. Some days I might feel like throwing my mind into editing a photo and so I'm going to choose Affinity. Other times I might have a batch of photos and I need to hurry up and get done. I'm choosing Lightroom. For the money, which one is better? I mean, again, I don't want to choose. I don't think one is better than the other for any reason. Like, yeah, I paid 50 bucks for Affinity. I paid for an entire year of Lightroom, which was more than 50 bucks. I've had Affinity for two years. I'm only getting Lightroom starting off for a year to see how I like it. I don't regret either purchase. So if you don't regret either purchase, then they're, they're both good, right? So, I mean, really, it, it comes down to what you think, your own opinion. I don't find one better than the other. I love them both for different reasons. I hate them both for different reasons. So. I mean, that's just one of those things where you're going to have to learn that one on your own. If you use Lightroom and you're happy with Lightroom, stick with Lightroom. If you want to try Affinity, I think it's half off right now, 25 bucks to own it. It's not a bad program. It really isn't. So with that being said, guys, I will see you all in the next video.